students today uh, we are going to do some question on electric field and potential and um, these question have been asked in different different exam in the previous paper so i'll take one question the question is this question has appeared in uh, isc bangalore 2010 right the question says a loop of radius r carries a uniformly distributed charge assuming the potential at infinity to be zero the ratio of the potential at height 2r on the axis to that of height 3r is see we are given a ring a ring of radius r and they are asking to find out the ratio of potential that you have at 2r to the potential which you have at 3r all right so first of all let me tell you what is the potential at a distance of x so if you have charge q distributed over here this charge q is uniformly distributed and this point if i take point o on the axis o is equidistant from each and every point so potential at each and every charge on this ring is going to be same at this point o. potential at point o if each and every charge which is distributed on the ring is going to be same at point o so we o is going to be simply q upon 4 by epsilon naught into the distance of point o from this point on the ring and that distance comes to be how much this is if this is r this is r square and the quotient is just smaller so we write smaller here Small r square plus x square. So that's going to be our potential at point O, right? Our potential at distance of x from the center of the ring. All right. Now we have to find the ratio of potential when x is two r and when x is three r. So that will simply be r square plus square of three r. And R square plus square two R, so that will come as root two, right? So your uh, <coughs> D is the answer. D is the correct option, all right? D is the correct option. Let's go to next question. Next question is we have to find, uh, we have to compare the the electrostatic potential at the center of the disk and on the edge of the disk. The question is the electrostatic potential due to uniformly charged circular disk is a option the same at all the points on the disk is larger at the center than at the edge c is is larger at the edge than at the center and d is has a maximum value at half the radius so we are given a disk and the question talks about uh, the potential And we have charge Q distributed, so I can say sigma is Q upon I R square is the sigma. So we have to compare the potential at the center and potential at the edge. The question talks about which one is greater, the potential of the disk at the center or potential due to disk at the point on the edge on the periphery, right? So first of all. Let's talk about potential at the center. As so before solving this, can we tell something about that which one is greater, potential at the center or potential at the edge? See, the point center point is nearer to most of the point on the disk, and the point on the edge is nearer to some point and very far from the other points. So we expect potential at the center to be higher. We expect potential at the center to be higher. But we we have to find out. We have to find out. But we expect the potential of the center to be higher. If we are in a hurry, we can mark this option. But let's find it out also. If we find it difficult to find the potential on the edge, this is very important. Right? Various places it is asked. Finding potential of the center is very easy. But finding potential of the edge requires some more uh, tricks. Right? So let's uh, work out the potential of the center. This is very easy one. So for that, we have to take an element of radius r. 
radius r and thickness t r element of radius r and thickness d f and what would be dq on this element sigma d s and what is d s d s for uh, the ring of radius r and thickness d r is 2 pi r d r right and since point o let's call the center as o since o is equidistant from each and every point on this ring so I can say potential at point O is simply or potential at point O dv due to this charge on the ring is simply equal to right you can put it this way and dq is what dq is sigma 2 pi r d r upon 4 pi epsilon r so this will cancel out r r will cancel out so we have sigma d r upon 2 epsilon r alright and uh, v will be integral of d v which is sigma d r by 2 epsilon r and that comes to be sigma r by 2 epsilon ok so that's the potential at the, at the center due to charge disk. Now let's work out potential on the edge. Let's try to find out potential at this point. Right. For that, we'll take this kind of element. Element in the form of R. Element in the form of R and the radius of this R is R. And thickness is dr dr is the thickness and suppose this angle is theta then what is the length of this arc this length is r theta and this length is also r theta so total length is 2 r theta total length is 2 r theta so you can say ds of this element of the disc is the length 2 r theta into dr 2 r theta into dr and dq is what sigma ds so it is sigma 2r theta into dr all right and since this point o dash let's call the point on the edge as o dash since o dash is equidistant from each and every point on this arc so i can say the potential at o dash due to this dq on this arc is going to be this and what is dq dq is sigma into 2r theta dr upon 4 epsilon r ok and so this r and r will cancel out this 2 will cancel out so you have here sigma upon 2 pi epsilon r theta dr alright now we are finding we have two variables theta and r but these variables are not independent. Theta and R are related. And what's the relation? You can see it from here. If I join these points, then this is the R what? This is your 2R. And this angle is 90 degrees. We have learned in our school level that the angle subtended by a diameter at any point on the circle is 90 degree. So this is 90 degree. This is 2R, this is theta. So in this triangle, this is small r is going to be how much? Small r is going to be 2r cos theta and dr is going to be minus 2r sin theta d theta. So we will replace this dr in terms of theta. So it's sigma 2 pi epsilon naught theta and minus 2r sin theta d theta. Alright. So this 2 and 2 will cancel out and we have sigma upon pi epsilon naught theta sin theta d theta right ok so now let's integrate this the potential at o dash will simply the integral of this and we have sigma upon pi epsilon naught minus theta sin theta d theta and what would be the limit of theta see this is the element we have to integrate this over the disk right so the very first element 
will be very near to what as so the angle over here will be higher pi by 2 because as you take this kind of element closer and closer to what as your angle keeps on increasing so if the element is very close to what as your angle theta is going to be pi by 2 so the lower limit is pi by 2 and as you move far and far from the what as then you have the the angle keeps on falling the angle keeps on falling so the last element would be at this point and for that this angle will go to zero all right now we have to integrate it by parts we are going to take it outside and we we'll use integral by parts so if i integrate it by parts it takes minus sin theta as the first function and theta as the second function then the second function theta integral of minus sin theta would be cos theta all right okay and uh, then you will take derivative of this and integral of cos theta and the limit is pi by 2 to 0 sigma upon pi epsilon naught theta cos theta minus sin theta pi by 2 to 0 so if I take 0 put 0 over here it's all 0 that would pi by 2 here it is 0 cos pi by 2 is 0 and sin pi by 2 is 1 so this will be sigma upon pi epsilon Get it right? So we find that the potential at the center is sigma r by. And in fact, we have missed something over here. We have missed r over here. This is r. So please correct it. Sigma r by pi of sigma. Then you know dimensionally we got the incorrect answer. So that's why we got the idea that we have missed something. O dash will be sigma r by pi epsilon naught. I know this pi is more than 2, so if you have pi in the denominator, of course uh, V O dash would be less than V O. Alright, so your answer is B. Larger at the center than at the edge. And you can predict this answer by analysis also. If you are given these kind of options, one can very well understand that potential at the center is going to be higher because center point is nearer to most of the point on the disk and point on the edge of course is near to some points but very far from the other points so we can expect the potential to be sent potential at the center to be higher than potential on the edge moreover I'll I advise you to remember this result also because nowadays most of the exams and objectives if you remember these results it will be very useful okay fine